Is the Game Face Try-On tournament ready out of the box? There are times you pick up a blaster and you immediately understand why it's been getting hyped. With that though, comes higher expectations that can sometimes lead to disappointment on the user's end. But right away, the performance starts solid for the try-on, ranging from the mid-170s to low 200s depending on the darts used. And important to note is that everything in this video is done with the two provided spacers installed for its highest possible FPS out of the box. This was done because in every major tournament that's been held so far in our hobby, Springers have had access to the highest FPS cap, which is typically 200 to 250 FPS. And when we get into groupings, both 40 foot and 75 foot distances were tested with three different dart types, the included Chevron darts, AF Pros, and Worker HEs. I went into this expecting the Worker HEs to be the best performing, but was surprised when I saw the AF Pros seemed to have an edge over the HEs and the chevrons were the worst when pushed out to 75 feet, likely due to their lighter weight than the other two darts. Something I noticed while doing these tests as well was that there did seem to be some dart instability coming out of the barrel, which led to a couple of way offline shots, which I'm gonna hope that adding a scar barrel will help alleviate. Unfortunately, due to the design of this blaster, you can't take a scar barrel you already own and put it on. You'll have to get something specifically made for this blaster. And I don't want to get too caught up on just pure performance here, as there are other elements that make a blaster good for competitive, one of which is durability. I've seen more blaster failures at tournaments than anywhere else. So when I pulled this out of the box, I was immediately pleased with how solid and durable this blaster felt. To give you an idea, I can do this and have no worries about it working as it should afterwards, which shouldn't be understated with how prominent 3D printed blasters have become in our hobby. Now, not to be confused with their ability here, there's also reliability to keep in mind. And this is where the Tryon stumbles a bit. There's a known issue that I experienced where occasionally the trigger will lock up and the blaster won't fire. Supposedly this should disappear as the blaster is worn in, but absolutely something to keep in mind if you're bringing it to a tournament. The other issue I encountered is the placement and looseness of the safety. Multiple times over the course of an hour or so of games, I would engage the safety when switching hands. Thankfully, it should be preventable with some tape to hold it down, but it's still an issue you might deal with. Something else I am disappointed with is that there is no true depriming of this blaster, but beyond that, there's just minor things left, like the priming grip having a little bit of wobble to it, but not enough to negatively impact usage. And there's Picatinny underneath for changing your grips to suit your style if it is an issue for you. Then there's personal preference kind of things, like I hate thumbhole grips, but this one is large enough that it's not horrible to use. And you can actually replace the grip and stock on this, which is a great touch. This blaster also has slam fire, which personally I have no use for in competitive, but I get the appeal. Those things aside, there's a lot of good design choices here to be happy about. Simple things like a flared magwell, taking both talons and katanas without an adapter because it's a half dart only blaster, no slop on the prime, easy access to the spring and spacers, and a skinny breech that allows for mag swaps without priming the blaster. All this put together says to me that the shortcomings for this blaster are easily managed by any player without having to open the blaster up. So yes, this blaster is tournament ready out of the box with the caveat of putting the time in to break the blaster in to prevent any of those locking up issues. So it may not be perfect, but it certainly didn't fall flat of expectations. I expect to see plenty of these in the field in the future.